Hello everyone, in this video today, I'm going to talk to you about how to perform co-staining using the two antibodies from the same source. Uh, here in this video, I'm going to take the example of Atsinovo Alpha, uh, which is also which is from the rabbit, and also Desmin antibody, another antibody that is from the rabbit. For example, if you are using two antibodies, let's say Atsinovo Alpha and Desmin, both of which are from the same source, let's the rabbit, then mm, what is the protocol that you have to follow uh, that I'm going to describe in detail in this video. Okay, but few most important points prior to performing co-staining using the two antibodies from the same source. Uh, it is important to test each primary antibody individually and select the best pretreatment condition for each antibody. Okay, first you will um, perform single staining using each of these, each antibody, each primary antibody, ethanofo alpha or desmin, right? And then you will you will find the conditions which are which are which are best for each of the um, primary antibodies. And another important point is that it will be ideal if the two primary antibodies they require the same pretreatment. Otherwise, you should do a further test by treating sections with both pretreatments and then immunostain for each antibody individually. If both antibodies survive the double pretreatments, you are ready uh, for immunofluorescent staining. Another alternative is to do pretreatments separately for each antibody staining. Okay. So these are a few important points that uh, you should um, pay an attention to. So, and then, what is the protocol then? How to perform co-staining, okay? Immunofluorescence, co-immunofluorescence staining using the antibody from the same source. Uh, for this, I would recommend you to use the cryo sections for this protocol. First, you take out your cryo sections and you wash this cryo section two times and uh, five minutes with PVS. Right, and after that, you do antigen retrieval for 20 minutes at 98 degrees Celsius using Daco antigen retrieval solution one time. So, okay, in this water, so you will dilute this Daco antigen retrieval solution to one time in the water and do the antigen retrieval uh, by for 20 minutes at 90 degrees Celsius. And then you cool down for 20 minutes at room temperature. Okay, you let let these uh, sections together with the antigen retrieval solution inside cool it down for 20 minutes, and you further cool it down um, for under under the tap water. Okay, and and then what you will do, you will wash with distilled water uh, one time five minutes in a shaker. Okay, and after that. What you have to do? You have to block the sections. We have to block your cryo sections uh, with PBS plus 5% gold serum plus 0.6% Triton X for 30 minutes at room temperature. Okay. So and then you have to incubate with the first primary antibody. So this primary antibody must be diluted in the blocking solution. So this is the blocking solution that you have prepared in step seven, and you have to dilute this primary antibody in this blocking solution. So primary antibody incubation, so you have to do it overnight. I have given here the example of albumin and desmin. Um, so 1 to 100 and 1 to 100. Okay, so you incubate mm, primary antibody. So another primary antibody that is our SNF4 alpha. Okay, we want to do desmin with uh, SNF4 alpha. This is one co-staining and albumin with SNF4 alpha. This is another co-stain. Here, what you can do is that, okay, you can take two sections. In one section, you can put Desmin first, and in another section you can put SNF alpha first. Okay, basically um, two different uh, antibodies, and two in two, two in, in two different sections, uh, different antibodies first. Okay, this is one tip that I want to give you. And the next thing you you do is that you wash the, with PPS uh, three times ten minutes, and then what you do you incubate with the first secondary antibody. So it will be good anti-rabbit Alexa because both of the antibodies are from rabbit 594 1 to 500 in gourd serum. Okay, in gourd serum because you block first in the gourd serum uh, for one hour. And after that, you wash three times with PBS 10 minutes each. And then important step here, you have to block with PBS plus 5% donkey serum. Okay, remember first you block with goat serum. Now you are blocking with donkey serum okay and 0.6 percent children x for 30 minutes at rt and then what you will do you will incubate with the secondary prime second primary antibody not secondary sorry second primary antibody in this case 
ethanol for alpha okay but if you have put ethanol for alpha before then you have to put besmin or albumin now okay in donkey serum prepared in step number 12 yeah this is and at 4 degree overnight and you will wash three times 10 minutes with one time pbs and you will incubate with the second secondary antibody at one hour room temperature so donkey anti rabbit alexa 48 okay because you have used your donkey serum so you will take donkey anti rabbit alexa 48 1 to 500 dilutions this dilution of course will depend uh, on your your conditions also and after this you will wash three times with pbs 10 minutes each and you will stain with dapi 1 to 100 in pbs for two minutes and you will wash five minutes with PBS and finally you will apply a quiz mounting medium and cover with the covers um, cover sleep and you have to dry these sections in the box you have to protect them from light in room temperature for one to two hours and keep them in four degree until you take photos better to take the photo same day or the second day but no more than one week okay so this is the protocol that you can use to perform co-staining okay by using the, the two primary antibodies from the same source i hope this video was helpful thank you very much for your kind attention